Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, and I'm just going to show you a little quick thing I'm going to do, probably a, a fast video here. Um, so I've been grinding away at my cooking skill, I finally hit level 5, I went and got the makeable meats thing when I was in Genoa, and now my cooking's level 5, and I've been converting my, um, uh, my fava bean soup with some ham into a fava bean soup with meat and I'm gonna keep doing that until I hit six now as an update to all of that I hit level 21 uh, after questing a little bit and doing a few trades finally hit level 21 and um, I'm going to now switch over to my newest trade ship I'm gonna switch over to the um, Palaka now it's not the best ship but it allowed me to carry more stuff and maybe if I don't switch over to it at least I'll gather it so in in the meantime, I need to make some space, and in this case, we are going to get rid of one of our ships here, and we're going to get rid of the Caravel. Um, it's it's a good ship, don't get me wrong. Um, there is other ships that we could use here, but for the sake of its purpose here, I just don't see it being very much use to us anymore. So we're going to go ahead and sell it, and then I'm going to use my advanced merchant memento ship ticket. And I'm going to claim my graduation Palaka. It's got a much larger hold, decent cannon chambers, and cabin and sailor size is pretty good. Um, if you don't like that combination, you could pair up with somebody who's a shipbuilder. Normally, everyone here is a shipbuilder. And you can refit it. Um, and let's go see. Graduation Palaka. And you should be able to do more than this. I mean, you could switch the kinds of sails you get from more verts to less verts. Um, but you could also then maybe change the number of cannons you have to the smallest amount, change the number of cargo to the smallest amount to really maximize that cargo hold. Um, and see, what did we get here? We got demolition work, navigation skill one, and arms skill two to cause damage to enemy ship after melee battle, depending on the number of crew in the raid. Interesting. Really not a battleship. Why do I get the demolition work as an option? I have no idea, but... So, with that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and change our ship. Let's just take a look real quick by comparison. Right now we have 246 of storage, so yeah, it's a big increase. So we're going to change our ship. We could do this at the Shipmaster here, to the Graduation Palaka, now that I'm level 21. And we are going to add ship parts. And, oh, we can actually get more sails than what we have here, so let's get some more sails. Um, add our figureheads and things like that. And let's get a new sail. But now, honestly, it doesn't matter if you just keep on getting these or not. Um, I just keep doing it because around here the vertical sail is just so good. So I just keep adding it. And now our ship information should show that we have more vertical sail. It's got more horizontal sail for this ship than um, we probably would need, but, you know, we're not going to go ahead and change it. I mean, that would just make it worse if I were to change the Palaka's sails now, it become even more horizontal and less vertical. So, Alright, so we are set to go. I'm going to do another little detail. This is what I wanted to show you. So, besides sh switching ships, Another thing, I since I'm now level 21, I now qualify to get my first aid. Actually, you can get it at level 20, but I hit level 21 first. And picking your first aid depends on what path you want to go in the trade business, um, or, or adventure business, or battle, whatever. You can choose it how you want. But early on, it's about for me, it's about like getting those things to earn you money, get you things in which that you can give to your ships, and give to other people, and stuff of that nature. So. I've already done cooking with one of my other characters, and I don't need to focus cooking completely anymore. I mean, I will do some cooking from time to time, but it's not going to be my main focus. What I want to focus is textile trading, fabric trading, dye trading, and sewing. Because with sewing, you could make clothing, and I believe sales? I believe. If I can't make sales with sewing, that's not a big deal. I think this is just a nice path I want to take. I want to see where it goes. I've never done it before. A lot of this can be done in the North Sea, so some of you guys who are up in the North Sea will see, um, you know, where this uh, takes me as I go doing that. Um, but yeah, I just figured it's a good path. I've already done spice trading, I've already done casting, and I've already done cooking. The only things that really are left are handicrafts, jewelry, art trading, 
um, and weapons trading, firearms trading, but nothing here like leads to anything here. Weapons trading, firearms like that's part of the casting. You would need some of that stuff. So this is a whole new path for me. That's what I'm going to focus. I'm going to need to get to get um, textile trading from the merchant uh, GM in Amsterdam. So that's where I'm going to go after I go get my first aid. Now to decide what aid I want to get, I went to IV Row, uh, which is a website, um, and I. Clicked on their aid tab on their website, and from there they gave you a list of all of the aids that are available to you. And the aids that are available to me are numerous. And the one that I came to settle on, the one that I wanted to choose for this case, is in Marseille, and that's where I'm settled now, and where I'm headed. Um, the reason why I chose. Uh, Marseille in this the aid there her name is Charlotte is because she is going to benefit some of my skills that I need early on and the ones that she's going to benefit are going to be textile trading and fabric trading and dye trading which is the root of getting better at sewing later on I can get the sewing skill after I get fabric trading three so getting her early and getting her to boost my fabric trading dye trading and textile trading skills would be great. The only other thing I need to do now is I need to switch to a um, merchant uh, 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 a job in which that has these benefits. Um, now you can do that by saving one of those um, a maritime or not maritime one of the uh, merchant uh, skill. Uh, uh, endorsements or you can do uh, another way by getting uh, special endorsements by rescuing people at sea um, so that's one of those things that we're gonna do but at the very least right now I want to at least show you how to pick up an aid getting your aids getting them going and the details about aids so once I get there um, the tab underneath characters will be a aid option uh, underneath here and the aid options there will show you where your aids levels are and all that other stuff for when you are um, uh, leveling them up and as you go they, as you go and level up they will level up too and the reason why I want to get them now is because the more I do with her the faster she'll level and then when she hits trust of 50 then I can give her a ship that works for her levels and trust 50 you get trust by sailing with your aid every 30 days for up to the first I think 40 trust you gain one trust every 30 days um, and then after that it increases to about like 40 days and 50 days and so on and so forth and so much so that it just becomes really long before they start earning trust but once you're above 50 you need you know you can then give her a ship the only catch is that you do not want to fall below 50 trust. Not having money on you to pay for the aid to be by your side every day or every 30 days while you're out at sea, that'll lower their trust. Also, switching them out of being an aid captain will also lower their trust by 10. So once they're your aid captain, leave them there. At least until they're 60 trust or higher. So that's why I'm suggesting get the right aid that you want right away and be sure about it because you don't want to have to put in any time with an aid that's wasted. So this aid I think might be the best to start. Um, I would have gone with Claudia if I was doing cooking early on, but this one is a good one for now. And it'll hopefully get us, let's see, get us, there's Claudia, there's Claudia, here's Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah, we can get her in Marseille, and she has these skills at these different little levels here. Sail handling at Navigator 45 and levels 15 adventure. Accounts, textile trading. She gets textile trading, fabric trading, and dye trading at these levels, at these different jobs, and at these different levels. So it seems like storekeeper and paymaster are the ones I'm going to focus on leveling her at. And then need to get her trade skill up quite a bit because that's what's going to give her um, the textile training boosts that I need. And then she comes with all these languages that she unlocks as she levels up across 
which is always good because then you don't need to use body language and she'll do it later. So one of the benefits. It's going to be a bit of a sale, but when we're there, we have to go to the tavern. And at the tavern is where you will talk to the bartender, the barkeep, I should say, and he will have an option to see aides. And then when you see the aide, you will click him and you will select them, buy them, which they should cost like a one time purchase amount, and then you should be getting up. It's that simple. Just want to show you guys how to get an aide why I chose the aid I did for my character, why you might want to choose the aids for your character. There's a huge list of aids. Some aids you can't get, obviously, because of where they're located. This one's in Marseille. I really wanted to get Garcia, but Garcia's in Lima, Peru. And that's on the other side of the South American continent, and I haven't unlocked the western portion of South America yet with my map. I only have this far. I don't have any other portions of South America. I can't get there, so... He would have been better to have, but since I can't get him now, you know, I gotta get somebody else. And I felt like um, Charlotte was probably best for this. You could also rename your characters. Um, I did that with my first one. I renamed Claudia Chungus, and then it took me a long time to remember who I got. So it's important, you know, you could change your names if you want, but it's really unnecessary. And when they're sailing behind you, then you'll see their name on their ship. It'll say Chungus or whatever they're called. So, I'm going to leave her named as she is. But yeah, we finally hit level 21. Getting Adventure Up is the next best thing, because I want to get to that Sambuk. Sambuk is a good ship. Let me show you the Sambuk now that I have unlocked it. I can't show you. can't show you exactly what it is right now, but the Sambuk is a good ship because it has um, it has decent cargo space too and a much better speed. That's just preference. You can use this ship if you want. I use this ship with a few a few other guys that I'm trying to hold a lot of storage in. So it's not bad. Okay, we're here in Marseille. Alright, so we want to get to the port commercial district. I lied in Port Square. And go to the tavern. Notice I don't have all the sailors I need on my ship when I switch because I need a little more than what they have to be at full capacity. Um, I don't know if it's that important that you be full capacity. Just a few above is fine. Oops, the wrong person. I'll we'll talk to Irene just to talk to her. Okay. Employ aid. And there's Charlotte. She's the yarn dealer. Now there's others here. You could you could look at what their details are. Here's hers. Like I said, was showing before on the other website. If you saw that, I'm not sure that you did. But these are the things you get with her. This is all the battle stuff that she gets and the other bonuses she gets for being. If she has obstruction in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and these items are rendered ineffective. Sewing tasks you can automate sewing when sailing. Yeah, that's all nice stuff. But fire prevention is actually not bad. So you don't have burst out in fire and lose any goods, but this is why I wanted her right here. And even caution is fine, and sociability is fine, and accounts is fine, and sale hunting is fine. Like all of this is good for early game. So we're gonna get her. She costs a hundred thousand to get. And she's hired. And we get a challenge mission for that. Hire your first aid. And we've got sale paint. Lots of stuff here. I don't even know if we need to get them all. Right this minute. Oh, we got that one. Papaya starter level pack. Let's see what that is. 
so long as we can take it all. No, we can't. <laughs> oh wow, we got ten million dollars. So good to hit level fifty as soon as possible, everyone. You'll get that. Oh, and a full rig sale. Cool. Well, I don't need any of this right this minute. Um, we'll just keep it in its state. As the uh, papaya starter pack, we don't need it. We'll make some space in our inventory by eating food and such. It's really unnecessary that we have all this food, but we we are in the process of making it all. Good textiles and fabrics are increased, so this purchase order is going to be good for us later. So that's how you hire your first aid, um, and then and you go to the tab aid information. Now you'll see your aid has a level one trade, zero adventure, and zero battle. And this is the level of quests uh, experience that it'll need to order to go up. Now she has French automatically. It's the first thing she gets. You can assign traits. Now as she levels up, you'll get these traits every so often that you can assign. Obviously early on you don't know the traits that she has and where they are. So I would say stock these up. You don't want to add them to anything you don't know. Um, you can give her equipment just to wear. doesn't do anything. Just to change her look. I could change her name, like I said, I could name her to Charlotte, to Charlotte, whatever. I'm not going to change her name. And there you go. There's your first aid. <coughs> you don't need to do anything with them first. You just need to, um, you know, just get sailing. It's that simple. Start sailing, start getting off, and, you know, get as much as you can. Oh, actually, you know what? I have a shortcut since I'm going to Amsterdam. Remember, I don't need to sail there when you can take the carriage. Little details to remember. Um, the only thing is, is that I do have some cargo, so we're going to convert this to food. That's it. It's going to cost some money, but that's okay. No, nope, not a lot. Go to Calais. Oh, we're already here. In Calais. And we can start sailing to Amsterdam. And I'm going to pick up uh, my first uh, set of skills that I need. Amsterdam is right here. And there you go, everyone. That's what I'm going to do. No reason to show you the next steps here. Like I said, I'm just going to go to Amsterdam so I can get my first skill, which is the textile trading skill. Um, I want to find a way to get to a job in which that I can get, you know, these things favored. So uh, I will do that. And like I said, if you don't know where to go for that, just go to iVero, look up uh, jobs that are appropriate, find the right job, and there you go. Simple as that. And, and be, be sure to switch over to it if you can. If you can't switch over to it without a uh, guild card, then you're going to have to go to the Sagers thing until you find the quest in which they'll give you guild cards, uh, a quest over in Sagers. All right, everyone, hopefully this was helpful. I'm pretty sure please, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you, uh, what you think about uh, the series so far. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.